Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. I was in Pound Stretcher the other day and boy howdy do they have some cheap crap. Um, I guess that's the point, you've got to be able to stretch a pound, pound stretcher, stretch that pound. Um, so yeah, a lot of the cheap stuff they have is food. And um, it looks like a lot of it is foreign stuff. Um, or stuff that's just very close to being out of date. True story, I went in there and I checked a bunch of different stuff and I ended up picking stuff up that was in date. Um, actually, I didn't actually check this one. It's okay, it's okay. Um, I, I ended up picking up a, a bunch of stuff that was fine, but there was, um, I, I must have picked up about 10 different items and then put them back because they were out of date. I'm not 100% sure what the best before date stuff means in this country entirely. You know, I don't know if it's against the law to sell stuff that's out of date or if it's just a case of that's kind of a recommendation. But I don't know. But it was some of it was still at kind of normal price, which is kind of disgusting. So I never bought any of that stuff, that's for sure. Although maybe we'll make that a video one day. Expired products of Snaptube. Beautiful. Anyway, today I decided to pick up something that is it's from another country. I don't know which country yet. I haven't read the packaging, but it's not something that you get in normal shops. You know, it's not something you can just walk into a Tesco and pick up. Um, you very much do just get it in places like Pound Stretcher and weird foreign stores, uh, stores owned by foreigners who sell it to their own countrymen. I'm guessing because um, it's not the normal stuff that we we get here. It's not like Iron Brew, which is just common everywhere in Scotland, or Coca-Cola, it's not like that. So I'll, tell, I'll show you what I've got, anyway, because um, it's best just to show you. This is KGN's Basil Seed Drink. It's pomegranate flavour, and I don't know is it, if, if it's got basil in it. It might have basil in it. Um, it's definitely got seeds in it. Like, look at that, right? I thought that was interesting, you know, seeds, I've heard of bubble tea, you know, if you've, you've heard of bubble tea and it's got like bubbles in it, this has got seeds in it, I mean, to me, eating, drinking a drink with seeds in it isn't a delicacy or anything like that, it's, it's something that you do if you're too lazy to sieve the seeds out, um, so you wouldn't normally drink the seeds, they kind of look like little black furry treats, little black furry spores. So I didn't think it looked particularly appetizing, which is why I picked it up, because I like to try some weird stuff and see how it goes. You never know, it might be really nice. Um, basil seed drink. Premium quality, 100% guaranteed. Yeah, I'll bet. Let's have a wee look at the uh, the details anyway. Um, so per 100 milliliters, how much is actually in here? 290 milliliters. So we'll just times everything by three. So um, in one of these bottles, you've got roughly... 120 calories, which is quite high. It's not a lot of juice for 120 calories. It must be full of sugar. Um, 33 grams of carbs, 30, 31 and a half of that is sugar. So there's a lot of sugar. I think people in whatever country this is from, produced for Jeet UK in London. Oh, it's a product of Thailand. It's from Thailand, the product of Thailand. There you go. They obviously don't, don't know much about eating healthily. That's a lot of sugar. Oof, this should be very sweet. Um, no protein, no fats. Um, 30 milligrams of sodium, which isn't really a lot. And then it's got 6 milligrams of vitamin C. Interesting. It's not something we normally put on our bottles over here, but uh, there you go. Uh, so let's, um, let's have a wee read of... The ingredients, um, it's got ingredients in different languages, Romanian, Hungarian, Dutch, Arabic, Polish, French, Italian, Spanish and German, and then of course English, so what's it got? Water, basil seeds, so it's, it's not basil, it's actual basil seeds, weird, um, basil seed, sugar, citric acid, which is E330, gelling agent, which is E418, why do you need gelling agent in a drink? Mm. Um, pomegranate flavour, colour, caramel, E150D, and a Lunar Red AC129. So it doesn't actually have any natural pomegranate in it. <laughs> it's just, just flavouring and sugar. 
Lovely. Right, let's bust this bad boy open. Oh. Hmm. I made a nice spiral there. All right, I'll give it a sniff first. Smells sort of sweet with a hint of shit. Hmm. Doesn't smell great. Gotta taste it. We gotta taste it and find out. All right. This says KGN's basil seed drink, pomegranate flavor. I should point out they had a bunch of other flavors as well. I just thought pomegranate was interesting. Let's give it the old taste test. It's not carbonated. It is still. I really want to get a bit with some some of the seeds in it. Let me see if I can just work the seeds up. A wee bit so I can, I can get, get some in my mouth. The seeds don't help it. The seeds are quite slimy. slimy and then the seeds themselves are like crunchy in the middle but the outsides are sort of slimy and gooey and call me old-fashioned but I don't like bits in my drink like I don't like orange juice with the pulp in this I'm not a fan of that. Flavour wise it's actually quite nice. The um the juice itself is not bad. Sort of It's not overwhelmingly pomegranate tasting. Although it has a slight hint of pomegranate. Um it more more or less just kind of tastes like sugar. Like you know that fake sort of fruit flavour that you get in jelly sweets? That, it kind of tastes like that. Um, so it, it tastes, definitely tastes sugary. But not overly so. It's like if you melted down a bunch of Haribos and put them in a drink. That's kind of what it tastes like. Except with horrible slimy seeds in it. So, taste wise, yeah, okay. I can go with it. But for the texture, ooh, no. Why do I keep drinking it? Eh, I wouldn't have that again. Mm, I'm not finishing that. Because it's... <laughs> I've, I've drank most of the juice now. It's all down to the bit with the seeds. I'm going to get a gob full of them if I down the rest of this and I don't fancy that at all. Ooh. Yeah, they're stuck in my teeth. Alright, that'll do, I think. That was KGN's Basil Seed Drink Pomegranate Flavour. T it had a gross texture. Mm, no, wouldn't do that again. Um, well, if you like this video, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to the channel, hit the wee notification bell if you want to know whenever I get one of my videos uploaded onto the YouTube sphere. That's not a word. I don't think that's a saying. But um, yeah, if you want to get notifications anytime one of my videos comes out, hit the wee bell. Um, I upload every Sunday and every Wednesday. And uh, yeah, some other occasions as well, just depending. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hit the uh, the Instagram up in as well. Uh, there's links in the descriptions for all the different stuff. And um, you all have yourselves a nice day. Go on the channel, you'll have an even nicer day by having yourselves a snack tube marathon. I promise you. It's a guarantee. And if you don't, well, that's too bad. Uh, right. This is going in the bin. Or maybe I could plant it and grow myself a, pom prom a pomegranate basil seed tree. News on that later. Cheers.